This year's Charleston Jazz Festival is getting ready to kick off this month on this week's Spotlight Music Series. We wanted to honor the occasion with Brett Sweeney, Director of Performances for Charleston Jazz and Marketing Director and Performer Extraordinaire, Lacey Miller. It's great to have you both. Good to see you. Good to see you in your new capacity. Yes. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Of course, Charleston audiences know exactly who Lacey and Gracie are. Wonderful performances that you do perform on King Street at Forte Jazz. We do. Yeah, which is wonderful. Yeah. Um, now later, uh, after the commercial, we're going to have a wonderful musician, Abdiel Iriarte, perform. But maybe you can tell us a little bit more about this gentleman. Sure. Uh, Abdiel is a wonderful musician. He's been living in Charleston for six years. He uh, has come to us from Venezuela. And the show that he's going to uh, put on for us as part of the Low Country Jazz Day on April 21st is a, it's a Latin, a Cuban, Venezuelan, uh, fiery, uh, modern jazz experience. Yes, and I want to hear a little bit more about this um, in just a few minutes, but uh, he, among many musicians who are coming to Charleston, some of them are born and bred here who have made their home in Charleston, but a lot are coming in from other places. Maybe you can tell us a quick little lineup of what you've got featured this year. Absolutely. We have, um, we've got quite a lineup of international musicians coming in. Um, Jorge Pacheco is from Cuba and he'll be here on, uh, on April 22nd, on the Friday night. And as well, we have um, Etienne Charles. He's from Trinidad. Oh. So he's, his show is going to uh, have a mix of Caribbean influences, uh, some Cajun uh, rhythms in there as well. Um, and Emmett Cohen is a New York, New York City-based piano player. And his vocalist for his show will be Lucy Yegazarian, who is from Armenia. Oh, wow. So such a diverse uh, lineup of people from all corners of the earth, which I think is fantastic. And that's kind of the, the experience that you get when you listen to jazz, right? So I'd like to hear a little bit more about First of all, congratulations on coming back out into the world after everything had been <laughs> shut down. So this is exciting. But also just what jazz is, because I think we think of jazz as a very American music, right? Right. So, so how do those different ethnic influences, what, what do they make on that music? How do they make it different from one country to another? Yeah, well, the beauty of jazz in Charleston is we are one of the birthplaces of jazz. Um, the Gullah Geechee influence and their rhythms are really what brought that jazz sound um, to, to the United States. And um, just the different instrumentation, it's evolved over the years. We had the Jenkins Orphanage Band that kind of brought jazz to our city and evolved some of those styles. And then all of the, the different ethnicities that have brought their flavor um, such so we're gonna have that uh, carnival uh, style from um, from Eddie and we have some of the uh, the Cuban styles coming it's just it makes that whole um, it's it brings everyone together which is what jazz is about is unity right exactly and just technically speaking what makes jazz so different from say a classical music a classical orchestral performance well the thing about jazz uh, that makes it different is it's a it is a spontaneous, creative conversation, I'll say. So the musicians are all on stage, having a conversation with each other, with their instruments, um, you know, with their voice, and the audience gets to witness and um, and witness the conversation happening in real time. Mm. So you're kind of a part of the experience, and that's what makes it so special to attend a live jazz performance. So it doesn't necessarily mean that the notes are printed there on the page. Sometimes it's just a feeling that develops in the moment, and it's sort of a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Right? Yes, never the same twice. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. Yeah, certainly. All right, so what are the final dates? The final dates, so April 21st through 24th, we have three venues, Forte Jazz Lounge, the Charleston Music Hall, and the Royal Missionary Baptist Church which will showcase all of our local student talent, which will be oh. so much fun. Well, it sounds like quite the experience, but tell us a little bit more about the Abdiel Iriarte experiment. Well, this group is gonna feature Abdiel and two of his um, colleagues, and they're gonna do a, some more like experimental uh, Latin Cuban modern jazz with some electronic instruments, uh, some electric keyboard bass, and that's gonna be at 10 p.m. at the Forte Jazz Lounge next Thursday, uh, April 21st. Fantastic. Well, we're going to have a little sampling of that in just two minutes, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> 